7.9 million. That's how it dance? I have one video. Of me dancing like that? Yes. <laughs> this sandwich is perfect. It's so good. The reason she stopped me. Hit it. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now. From the beginning. Hit it, boys. November 1st, 2022. At the end of the month, it's gonna be a year since I dropped my first video on YouTube. Got this new Brazilian coffee from, what is that store that we went to, the new one? What is it called? Foodland. Foodland. It is one of the grocery stores here in Pattaya. It's a smaller one, but they got a, they got a lot of stuff in there. Maybe I'll make a little video next time. I don't know if I'm allowed to film in there, so I need, to, I need to check first before I can promise you anything. And as you guys can see, Miley gave me a haircut. This is a little bit better for me because I got so much hair that it was, it was just, it felt so hot with the longer style hair. I always had pretty short hair. Even growing up, my mom was kind of strict and she never let me grow my hair too long. And then I went in the military, just kept it short pretty much my whole life. Once I had long hair, came all the way down to here. When I first got out of the, out of the military, I kind of let it grow long and it was, it was pretty long, but that didn't last it as well. That lasted maybe uh, two months. Anyways, today we're gonna take Miley to get her last wisdom tooth pulled out. And I also gotta go to immigration and get my passport. My three month visa is ready. In January, I'm gonna be going to the Philippines. I'll probably do a tourist visa for Thailand when I get there. And once I get to Thailand, then I do my, uh, my fight visa again. So I don't know what we're gonna eat for lunch. Miley's appointment is gonna be at 12 o'clock. And then my appointment with immigration is gonna be at 1 p.m. So I might eat something down in Jom TM or I might just get something to eat after she's done or after I'm done with my immigration business. Oh, it is Taco Tuesday. So no, I don't feel like getting tacos today. No Mexican food. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna get back to my coffee and I will see you guys in a few seconds. How do you feel? Me? If you wanna poop. <laughs> Why didn't you go to the toilet in the in the house? I don't know. I never poop outside. On the street? No. <laughs> Not outside like that. I mean. I'll poop everywhere. I don't care. Yeah, and same like you. That's how it does? Isan dance, you oh. dance like this. <laughs> Can you dance like this? I have one video. Of me dancing like that? Yes. Because <laughs> I'm from Isan. Yes, I know. You're from America, I'm from Isan. Yes. Do we pass it? Yes, right here. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. This one? No, not this one. He gonna go, he gonna go. So I decided to go with the Sands Cafe, which is a five to seven minute drive to immigration. It is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. My appointment, like I said earlier, is at 1 p.m. As you guys can see, it's right on the beach. I gotta get some money across the street over a 7-Eleven, hit up the ATM.
So I just went with a simple ham and egg sandwich. The back side is beachfront, so it's super, super nice. They are not getting any of my sandwich. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. That's a restaurant right there. We got a 7-Eleven. There's a sauna right next to the 7-Eleven. Let's go back to the Sands Cafe and wait for my sandwich. This sandwich is perfect. It's so good. Not a fan of tomatoes. So those gotta come out, but the rest has some ham, cheese, eggs, some lettuce, and I don't know what sauce, some kind of sauce, but it's, the sauce is it's good. This is definitely hitting the spot for sure. And this bread is, so good. I don't know what kind of bread is it, but it's some point. I think it's multigrain, multigrain bread. Whatever. It's on point. So it don't matter. I'm gonna finish my sandwich and I will see you guys in a few seconds. I am finished. Just waiting for my bail so we can get out of here. Go to immigration and get my passport. Miley is already at home. She's she's finished. Didn't take long. Yes. Let me get the back. <laughs> Let me get the back. <laughs> So we are here with EJ. I ran into him when I was doing my uh, three month extension. He was doing it as well, so that's a good thing. This is Earth. This is the guy I always mention in my videos when it comes onto the five visa. So if you got any questions, he will handle it. He's, he's great at what he does. So anyways, let me get out of here. All right, brother. Good seeing you, man. So yeah, let me know. We'll do. So we're now with my three month extension. I actually Ert got my passport because he has to scan it and I will pick it up at the gym tomorrow. Oh, hi. Name Insta360. Oh, okay. YouTube. Here. Very nice to meet you. The girl that stopped me on the way out from immigration is actually a YouTube superstar. The name of the channel is Jane and Sergio, and they have 7.9 million subscribers. The reason she stopped me is because she wanted to know what camera I was using. So that's, that was pretty cool, you know. She was super nice. She was very, very friendly. So I can only, I can only imagine that Sergio is the same way. Nice to meet you, Jane, and Sergio as well. Man, I'm telling you, most YouTubers, from my experience, even the big time YouTubers like that, like that girl, they're so nice. Most YouTubers that I have met are super nice, super friendly. You know, I know uh, a lot of people view YouTubers <laughs> in a bad light. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I never had any bad experiences with YouTubers now that I'm a YouTuber myself. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys that I met a, uh, a YouTube celebrity. And that was EJ. EJ and I used to train together when he was staying in Pattaya. Now he stays in Bangkok and he runs a jiu-jitsu school in Bangkok. So if you do jiu-jitsu and you find yourself in Bangkok, go check him out. He's a great teacher, great, uh, great guy. As you can see, he's, uh, he's a giant of a man. 
So we are not far from the house. Miley is waiting outside with Blue because she did not bring an extra key. And I know she's hurting after having her tooth removed. So she didn't want to go all the way to immigration and wait for me, so. I am home, Miley's inside, face is a little bit swollen. It's not looking good, but she got it done. All four of her wisdom teeth. No. Oh my thing. God. And then she said, All right, so I was wrong. The doctor, I don't know if you guys saw my last video when we went to a dentist. Everything that she needed to get done, she couldn't do it last time because the doctor had a hurt shoulder. The doctor still has a hurt shoulder. She got a couple of teeth that she got to remove. She got one taken out, but she still has one more wisdom tooth to take out. So that's gonna be probably in a, maybe in a couple of weeks or maybe three weeks, because in about a week or so, we're gonna be going to Koh Samoy. Most likely she's gonna do when we come back. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever you wanna do. Until next time, I'm gonna say we are out because Miley is in a whole lot of pain. So we are out. See ya.